Walker! Captain, what... What, what, what are you doing here? I, I thought... I know what you thought. Seems like thinking is all you've been doing nowadays. Because you're damn sure ain't closing cases. I, I just need a little more time. To you don't have more time! The chief is on my ass. And what I need are solutions, not problems. Not your partner making excuses for you for not showing up to work on time. Now you get your act together or you will be out of time. Look, Walker, we're all sorry for your loss. What happened to you should never have happened to any officer. But sympathy has an expiration date. Now you're a good detective. I wouldn't be out here otherwise. But the department is full of good detectives. And they deserve better. They deserve better. Now we won't be having this conversation again, understand? Yes, sir, understood. Good. Hi. Hush. I need to make a fancy chocolate almond cake as fast as humanly possible. Okay. So I'm going to need butter, sugar, flour, almond, and semi sweet chocolate. Ma'am, this is a liquor store. I know. I know, but it says that it's liquor and more. So where's the more? <laughs> We're the only store with a walking distance. Really? Okay. What's your name? Teddy. I'm Rebecca. Hi. Teddy, here's the deal. I haven't slept well in the last couple of nights, right? I cry when my socks are mismatched, and I was really, really, really mean to my husband. Really mean to him. And he's pretty much perfect. I've seen what else is out there. So I need to make him something for his birthday. Do you understand me? I need to make him something homemade. It doesn't have to be fancy chocolate almond cake. It just has to be homemade. Something that I make with my own two hands so can see how much I love him. Because I was really mean. Do you understand? Yeah, I got a banana muffins. Take the banana muffin. Do you like things? Uh, I got Twinkies. You squirt out the insides. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Work with that, I guess. I'll take six Twinkies. Okay. Uh, that'll be uh four twenty-five. Four twenty-five. <sighs> Thank you, Teddy. It was nice to meet you. you too. Thank you so much. Uh, Teddy. You know, as a private investigator, I deal with this sort of thing all the time. And what makes you think someone would want to be you? <laughs> uh, what's that supposed to mean? Well, someone must have found something appealing. Yeah, well, uh, you know, my reputation is sterling, and I do have impeccable credit. Except for my student loan. That Sally Mae sounds like a nice country girl, but she's the devil's mistress. You know, I didn't know you had to go to college to be a PI. Don't you just fill out the back of a matchbook? Uh, officer, am I detecting a little attitude? Why don't you just come back and tell us if you find anything? Oh, don't tell me you're not going to fill out a report. No. Why not? Look, you say you're a private eye. You yeah. dress like a mailman. How the hell do I even know who you are? I came down here, didn't I? The guy maced me. Well, we can do a whole lot more than that. Well, oh, you wouldn't dare. Greg Haynes, this 17-year-old you see before you, who I might remind you is being tried as an adult, stabbed her multiple times. Greg Haynes knew exactly what he was doing. He's not insane, ladies and gentlemen. He is a cold-blooded murderer. And having heard the evidence, you have no choice but to convict him. Thank you. Coach Zellman say the recruiter gonna come by and talk to you. Ain't nobody gonna come around here talking to me about signing nothing. Come on, Pop, you can't do that. The recruiter coming all the way down from North Carolina. I don't care where you're coming from. The white man ain't gonna let you do nothing with that football, no way. So you go on and work your way up at that A&P. Or learn how to use your hands useful. Besides hauling people's garbage. I get good grades, Pop. That way I could go to college. I'll have my chance. Cause Zelma said the recruiter- I'm the one that's saying what counts. I'm the boss, you understand? I'm the boss. You get down to the a and and you get your job back. All right, everybody, listen up. Make sure you get your safety checks out the way. Switch your radios to Tech 3. 
Don't want any screw-ups here. This is about one of our own. And I'm sure you're all familiar with Detective Walker and what they did to his daughter. But for the grace of God, any one of us could be in this situation right now. So I'm sure we're all going to do our damnedest to bring him home safely. I'm not going to lie to you. Our intel is spotty at best. Most of the details we have came from the suspect himself. Unfortunately, we didn't find much, though. No DNA, no fingerprints off the envelope. So we could be walking into a trap. And having said that, Doc... So everybody, what I can tell you is, our profile of this suspect, based on recent psyche valves on a similar person of interest, indicates that he has antisocial personality disorder, which means he's most likely probably working alone. However, he is aggressive, he is impulsive, and he is violent without conscience, and he's prone to theatrics. So be ready for something bold and dramatic. Exactly. Now, a suspect like this would love nothing more than to take out one of our own. He's holding Walker at an abandoned house with one entrance, one exit, excluding windows. Samuels, you'll take lead on the breach. My team's prepped and ready. We're ready, sir. So get in, find Walker, get out. And if this is some sort of trap, find the suspect and voice my displeasure. That's it. Crown, what are you doing? It's time for you to join your wife and son. Butterfly, where's the burial crew? I thought when we purchased this property, we explained the need for efficiency. Crown, you just get killed for the drinks like that. Father, you asked for my assistance and I provided it. He is, Drake's is dead. He's no more. You can kill somebody cold blood. You can't kill a man like that. God. God. Out here, I am God. Now, Butterfly, take care of his cremation and burial. Carl and Jose, take my, get my father out of here. Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. How can you let him do that? You let him just kill somebody like that? Crown. You will be judged, you number know, savages, every single one of you, cold-blooded killers, and you will be judged. Mark my word. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lord, what have I done to deserve this? About your home, baby. I just couldn't keep you in the hospital watching you suffer like that. I want to just bring you home. Dell, I, I need you to tell me what to do. You've been in a, in a coma for so long. I have to believe that. <laughs> I finally uh, fired Grace today. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. But look at me now. Look what I've become. I can't sleep at night. I can't. I can't. I can't get my my thoughts straight enough to to put a sermon together. I can't even leave the church. And our children. Remy's decisions, JB's infidelities, and the crown. He is a major problem. While we were worried about his reaction to the fact that he's adopted, 
We should have been worried about the evil that lives in him. I, I saw him shoot and kill a man right in front of me. And just walk calmly away. And when he looked at me, his eyes, his eyes were blank. He had no soul, baby. I'm a man of the cloth. I'm a, I'm a community leader. I'm a law-abiding citizen. How could I have let him do that to that man? For fear of consequences, I, I, I didn't report the crime. What was that all about? Dell, I need you. I really need you. God, I need you. Can you help us? Can you help us? Can you help us? Can you help us? <laughs> Baby, look, I, I need you to wake up. Look, I know you hear me. Look, I need you. We need you. You got to wake up, Adele. You got to wake up. I need you. The family needs you. We need you. The devil. I need you, baby. Please come. The devil. The devil. Thank you, Lord. I'm here, baby. I'm here. I'm here, baby. I'm here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. The funny thing is, I don't ever remember you saying I'm sorry. You rip my heart out and think I'm sorry is going to be enough? Well, what do you want me to do? Drop to my knees? Well, what do you want me to say? Oh, oh Shelly, I'm sorry that you slept with my friend 40 years ago. You know, my wife's in a coma. Let's do adultery. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. No, I don't think so. Well, I don't know why you're being so hypocritical. You forgave your best friend, but you can't forgive me. Yeah, but I loved you. But you threw all that away and drove a stake through my heart. I was young. I didn't know what I had. But you did it anyway. And didn't give a squat about my feelings. Now get out of this house before the pastor side of me takes a vacation. Go! Oh. <laughs> Who's looking down at who now, huh? <laughs> Who's begging for their life now? And who's the little man now? Huh? Say it. Say it! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> You, you ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> no preaching today, no words of wisdom today. I mean, no sermon today. <sighs> Do you even know why I hate you so much? Don't even have a clue, huh? You call yourself a Christian, but you ain't nothing but a hypocrite. Oh, you you invite me to church, but then you act like you don't know me when I get there. Smile in my face while you stab me in the back. You talking to your colleagues about me and my case. Helen, that's not true. Oh, you're right. Look, you want me to talk. Well, I'm talking. Oh, you, you, you know me here. But then you act like I slapped your mama if I got the nerve to act like I know you in public. Come on, man. 
Come on, what? You told me to let up, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, shut the hell up and listen. You know what it's like to be invisible? Huh? Really invisible. Forced to live on the streets where people don't just look down at you, but look right through you. Like you're not even there. Like you don't even exist. Don't even acknowledge your existence. You know how that feels. Do you? No. No, Leonard, I don't know. Well, it hurts. It hurts like somebody just takes your heart and your dignity, dignity and just rips it into pieces. It hurts. Shh, quiet. I'm thinking. I, I told you. I'm thinking. No, I didn't ask you a question. Shh. Come on, Doc. Preach. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know? Say something. Expecting to say when you got that gun in my face. I don't know. Anything. What about uh I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, or or I cast all my care on you, for you care for me. You're right. All lies. Where's your God right now, huh? If he's supposed to be so bad, what was God? When I lost my job after giving 20 years of my blood, sweat, and tears, huh? And where was God when we lost our home because of it? Huh? It was right there, Leonard. Oh, where was God when he let that drunk driver lose control of his car, hit my car, and kill everybody in the car but me? My whole family? How is that fair? It ain't fair. You hear me? It ain't fair. You said delight in you and you give me the desires of my heart. You said you would never leave me, nor forsake me. What the hell were you? Huh? Why did you leave us? You know why? Because you're fake. You're phony. And I hate you for it. I hate you 